Okay, what's going on, everybody? Um, man, I really don't do videos like this, but um, I don't know. I just really feel it in my spirit to do this. Um, so I'm just gonna go on and come on through with it. I have never been so irritated in my life, never been so irritated in my spirit, um, never. But what I seen yesterday, what I seen yesterday on TV about these protesters and pro-Trump protesters at that storming the Capitol Hill and doing what they did, um, that is a complete assault on democracy. And I'm not a very patriotic person. Yes, I did serve in the military five years of my life. I did serve in the military. But I'm going to tell you one thing about me. I have never put my trust in man. I have never put my trust in government. Never. You know, ever since I came to know Jesus Christ, my trust is in Jesus because scripture say that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There, there is no truth outside of Jesus. There is no life outside of Jesus. There is no way outside of Jesus. And what I'm really irritated about is that a lot of Christians, a lot of Christians have put Trump on this pedestal as if this man can do no wrong. He's a human being just like anybody else. He's a human being just like anybody else else. This man, he's going to do wrong because he was born and shaped in iniquity, just like me and just like you. So for anybody, anybody that is out there and you're a Christian and you're a believer and you have put your 100% faith into this man, I'm going to let you know right now, right now in this video, you're an idol worshiper because only Jesus Christ was sinless. And so if you put your trust in Trump, man, you're an idol worshiper and you need to repent. Um, another thing that has really truly irritated me concerning this whole presidency and concerning this whole transition of power is that if there was corruption done, um, and I really believe that there, there was, if there was voter fraud committed, and I really believe that, that as well, if, if, if it's going to happen and, it, and if, if, if Biden is going to become president, then God must have allowed it to happen for a reason. We got to remember that God is in control of all things. And so we must put our trust in him. And like, if you're a Christian and you believe in that, what those people did yesterday, and you might have been one of them people that was out there. Who, who knows? You might have been out there with your pro-Trump flag, thinking that it was okay and it was righteous to storm into that building, to overthrow um, the election or whatever. Then you're wrong because God is a God of order and law and not confusion and chaos. And so I don't know who done got into your head to make you think that it was okay to do those things or it is okay to, for others to do those things. If you're standing on that side where you feel as if, man, you know what them people did is right. I feel them. I understand them. Then you're wrong because me as a, as a seeing what I seen, and being through what I've been through, when I was seeing this stuff on the TV, I was completely disgusted. I was, com I was disgusted completely in my spirit. And so I'm just making this video just to put it out there. Trump is a man, a human being, just like we are. He's a sinner, just like we are. He is not Jesus. He is not Jesus. He had, he had his moment in presidency. And I, and honestly, I admire his honesty. I admire him being blatant about certain things. But if, but if there was voter fraud, if there was corruption, if there was decept deception concerning these elections and Joe Biden is going to go and be the president for the next four years or, or whatever, then God allowed it to happen. God is in control. We have to just, man, Man, if you, all this anxiety, all this fear, all this chaos, just, man, I, I'm just praying that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that, that he can release some type of peace and some type of understanding concerning the times that we're living in. Because honestly speaking, America needs to repent. America needs to repent, like seriously. 
And so our faith should be completely in Jesus Christ. It shouldn't be in the Democratic Party. It shouldn't be in the Republican Party. It shouldn't even be in Trump or Biden or any other man for that matter. And so one thing I have learned is that just because a person is Republican, that doesn't mean that they're Christian. And just because a person is Democrat, it doesn't mean that they're a devil worshiper. It seems as if I did my studying of both of the parties and, and there's deception in both of the parties and both of the parties are using um, what they have to falsely represent for, for a further agenda, for a deeper agenda. And at the end of it all, it's all about power and it's all about control. And so don't think it's strange. Don't think it's strange that you have so many different people, especially believers that are out here. And they have been deceived because just because of this whole um, this this whole persona and this and this whole uh, deceptive type of perspective that a Republican is just automatically for Jesus Christ. No, a Republican is a Republican. If, if, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, get into your Bible, get into your Bible. That's the only thing that you need to be doing right now is getting more intimate with God. Don't get intimate with politics. Don't get intimate with that TV. Don't get intimate with anything else. Get intimate with God through his word. Get discernment, my people, because we're living in the last days. And so I, I just felt very stirred up in my spirit and I just had to give you all this message. I don't stand for those people who did what they did yesterday on Capitol Hill. I don't stand for that. And I don't think any other true believers should stand for that as well. That is not a, what they did is not something that a believer of Jesus Christ would do. That's that, what they bought was total chaos and destruction and confusion. That, that is not the way it's supposed to be done. And so if we want a, if we want a solution or a resolution to anything, then go before Jesus Christ. As a, as an African American male, I have seen that protests don't go anywhere. As an African American male, I can I, I have seen that protest and rioting doesn't go anywhere. I, have we forgotten? Have we forgotten in the book of Ephesians? It states that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities and the heavenly places. Have we forgotten that? And if you're a believer and you're thinking that your war is against man, then where have you been? Where have you been? Because it seems like you're not studying your Bible. And it seems that you might don't even be intimate with God to get discernment. So I'm saying this, if, if you if you are a Christian and you're pro-Trump and you're thinking that this man can do no wrong, then you need to repent because you are an idol worshiper. You are an idol worshiper. Repent. Repent. And so put your trust in God. God alone. Scripture, said, scripture says that let God be the truth. And let every man be a liar. So you need to put your trust in God. If you have put your trust in Trump, and if you have put your, your trust in the Trump agenda, then I'm asking you to repent because your trust should be in Jesus Christ alone. And I'm praying that you will receive discernment. All right, that's my message for today. I mean, I just had to do this, this video. May you be blessed and may you be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peace.